Hello, so in this video I'm going to talk through my top three books on the Vietnam War and these are mainly fiction books. I'll probably do a video at some point on uh, the history of the Vietnam War, going through it from a history point of view. The other thing to say is these are uh, American books and I am interested in reading books from the Vietnamese point of view. So if you've got any recommendations of books uh, from the Vietnamese point of view on the American War, as, as I think it's known as in Vietnam, then please let me know in the comments. So the first book that I'm going to talk about is an absolute classic, uh, Dispatches by Michael Herr, um, who was a journalist who uh, went to Vietnam as a war correspondent, and uh, this was published in 1977, and um, it's kind of called kind of new journalism, it's quite kind of gonzo journalism, it's, it's very much in, in the action, um, and... It's just an absolute roller coaster ride. Uh, it's a real classic, uh, classic work, um, and it really gets you kind of like up close into the action in Vietnam. So I strongly recommend that one if you're interested in finding out about the Vietnam War. Um, I mean, what what a quote from John Le Carre: "The best book I've read on men and war in our time." So real, you know, ringing endorsement from John Le Carre. So Dispatches by Michael Herr is my first book that. Uh, I recommend on the Vietnam War. Um, in later years, after it was um, published, uh, Michael Hurd did say that some of it was kind of elaborated upon. It wasn't all kind of exactly as he'd seen it, um, but it's been incredibly influential, influencing a lot of the kind of classic Vietnam War films, for example. Okay, so the second book I'm going to talk about is this one, uh, which is a, a pretty significant novel by Carl Malantes um, called Matterhorn. And it's... Over 550 pages, um, but it's it's absolutely brilliant uh, novel about Vietnam. Carmel Antes did actually uh, fight in Vietnam. And I think, well, there's a couple of things, you know, on this why I think it's such an effective novel. The first thing is that it really, really, you know, just emphasizes the kind of futility of uh, a lot of, you know, the American... Um, war effort and and the things that they were doing um in vietnam and just how kind of ineffective um their strategy was for example the other thing that this this talks about and and is in this novel is um the the kind of interracial tensions in in the army at the time because obviously when you study civil rights and you think about the the mid to late 60s and the civil rights movement and the emergence of kind of black power and things like that that was going on in the army as well, and and Carmel Antes in this book is the, is the only one that I've read that really that really discusses that and gets into that. So I thought that was really really interesting. And even though it is quite a hefty book, you know, it is one that that you can read really really quickly. It sweeps you along. You know, it's a really really you know interesting uh, and exciting read. So um, Carmel Antes Matterhorn strongly recommend that one as a novel. And the final one, and this is actually my top. My top uh, recommendation is The Things They Carry by Tim O'Brien, which is a short story collection um, by Tim O'Brien, who did fight in Vietnam. And it's just an absolutely brilliant, brilliant work. I think it was first uh, released in, in the early 90s. And um, it's quite um, kind of metafictional. So he talks about writing fiction. He, he talks about writing about war. Um, and he's kind of... Um, really thinking about the process of, of dealing with those memories. Um, and yeah, as I say, it's a short story collection, really, really, you know, amazingly kind of quick reading. You'll want to go back to it. I've read it a few times. Um, I'm just going to read a quote just to finish off this video because I strongly recommend this, The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. He also fought in Vietnam. And this is from uh, a story called How to Tell a True War Story. And uh, it says, this is just from the middle of the story, it says, The truths are contradictory. It can be argued, for instance, that war is grotesque, but in truth, war is also beauty. For all its horror, you can't help but gape at the awful majesty of combat. You stare out at tracer rounds, unwinding through the dark like brilliant red ribbons. You crouch in ambush as a cool, impassive moon rises over the nighttime paddies. You admire the fluid symmetries of troops on the move, the harmonies of sound and shape and proportion, the great sheets of metal fire streaming down from a gunship, the illumination rounds, the white phosphorus, the purpley-orange glow of napalm, the rocket's red glare. 
It's not pretty exactly, it's astonishing, it fills the eye, it commands you. You hate it, yes, but your eyes do not. Like a killer forest fire, like cancer under a microscope. Any battle or bombing raid or artillery barrage has the aesthetic purity of absolute moral indifference. A powerful, implacable beauty and a true war story will tell the truth about this, though the truth is ugly. So that's just a short extract from uh, a story in this in this collection. Uh, the story is called How to Tell a True War Story and the collection is The Things They Carried. So yeah, any recommendations that you have of books on the Vietnam War, um, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for listening.